It looks like Mercedes have been caught using a flexible front wing, which should be illegal, but wasn't during the Singapore Grand Prix. The exact same Grand Prix George Russell shockingly won against all expectations. And it's no wonder given what has been uncovered this morning, thanks to this onboard footage during the race. Those upper elements on the front wing are once again flexing like no one's business. So how have Mercedes actually managed to achieve what no team should legally be allowed to since the FIA introduced more stringent deflection tests on front wings at the Spanish Grand Prix earlier this season? Well, let's unravel that mystery. And for that, we need to cast our minds back to the Spanish Grand Prix. The FIA introduced further tightening of the load tests applied to F1 front wings. And this is in an attempt to address concerns around flexibility and performance certain teams might be gaining through the use of wings that flexed. This included the likes of Red Bull, Aston Martin and Mercedes to name but a few. Concerns were raised back in the 2024 season and ahead of 2025 the FIA announced they would have in-season changes to the deflection tests. And here is a perfect illustration of how that deflection was carried out on the front wings. After this, Mercedes, amongst Red Bull and other teams, began to have struggles, inconsistent front end balance and a general balance overall. And of course, they were lagging way behind on the straights in straight line speed. But behind the scenes, the aero team for Mercedes in Brackley were working on something radical which we will be getting into very shortly. But to understand why this all matters, you need to understand flexi rings, how they all work. So at slow speeds or cornering speeds for any range of corners, you want maximum downforce. That means the front wing needs to bite the air and push the front tires into the track. But on straights, that of course equals a penalty because downforce equals drag and this kills your top line speed. So if your front wing can flatten out ever so slightly at high speed, you're going to reduce drag and gain an extra few kilometers or miles per hour in terms of straight line speed without even touching DRS. And it extends even further from that particular avenue. This even touches on the balance for a car around the entirety of a circuit. Because of course there are high speed, slow speed and medium speed corners and having flexible wings allows the team to not have to sacrifice a certain speed range of corner over another. So that is why Mercedes have gone about and introduced a new flexible front wing. This new front wing stalls just enough that the airflow on the top elements are kind of lowering, which is increasing the straight line speed. And then once again, like they did in the past, when we come to a cornering phase, the front upper elements go back into its natural position. But what do you make of it all? Do you think this is now an illegal front wing and should be something the FIA once again looks at? Because it's not just Mercedes that are rumored to have this, it's also Red Bull. Or do you think because they've worked on it and found a way around it, they don't need to have it banned? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now, as stated earlier, the deflection tests which the FIA use, it's to check vertical movement at specific points under static load. But Mercedes have figured out how to bypass this essentially and still allow a dynamic flex with the car in motion. But how have they done that? Well, essentially, Mercedes have been back at Brackley experimenting with different carbon fiber composites. There are differing ways through which carbon fiber can be made and we're talking the properties within the carbon fiber itself. And of course some of those lead to having more stiffness while others bring more flexibility. And that is what Mercedes have been doing. They've been pushing the boundaries, doing research and development for this year but of course with I would presume a mind to 2026 because whatever they can utilize this year will be very much used in terms of knowledge and experience for the new upcoming technical regulations. So it's genius engineering right on the edge of legality. And that is why we've seen with thanks to eagle eyed viewers, we've spotted this flexibility. Now, as we see on Russell's car, 
especially the intersections of the upper flat as he hits the full load or just the braking phase of the corner you can clearly see that front wing flex go back into its original normal position let's put it like that for the corner and on the straights when the cars are accelerating there is a bit of bend in it now there's another thing we need to state there is of course a level of flexibility that needs to be engineered into all front wings because if they didn't they would just snap and break off at the extreme speeds these formula one cars go at but the big question here is whether these levels of flex which we've seen on the mercedes is in legality in terms of what the FIA are happy with or whether it's just to do with a high downforce circuit such as Singapore exasperating the levels of flex because it is that sort of circuit with that sort of nature that kind of is indicative of this extravagant flex. Only the Formula One teams and the FIA will know that answer. And on paper, this may look like a small advantage, nothing to really be worried about. But actually, it is quite a big thing to actually be able to introduce onto your car for all of the reasons I've just stated in this video. It gives them better balance throughout a differing speed range of corners, which again should play dividends, particularly with this next race this upcoming weekend in Austin. It will bring them a little bit more straight line speed for that event as well once they fine tune the setup and with how tightly knitted that front three in terms of the teams are every small attention to detail or advantage you can gain is going to have a knock-on effect and it's going to combine with having better tire preservation a better overall aero setup all of these things, when you combine them together, can make and break a weekend, let alone a championship. So it's the million dollar question. What are the FIA going to do about it? Because as history has shown us on countless occasions, when they stringently tighten up these loopholes that the teams find, they once again, later on down the line, seemingly find another workaround. Now, do they stick? Or do they twist and try to get this outlawed? Maybe they ask Mercedes and Red Bull because that's another team doing this. Apparently so to do more tests in Austin or whether they just let it go and let teams be as they are currently. Only time will tell.